Hey everyone! Working with Blender materials is one of my favorite things to do currently. An extremely helpful thing to know is how to randomize your materials, so that even two identical objects with the same material can appear different. Blender's material nodes give us the tools to do exactly that, and it all starts with this simple object info node. This random output is pretty handy. I'm going to switch over to Eevee, but you can do this in cycles as well. I'm going to duplicate the default cube a few times so we can see the randomness at work. If we connect the random number directly to the color input, you can already start to see what the random node does. Color sockets are vector data, which have three inputs, so like RGB, HSV, XYZ, etc. Currently we're inputting the same random value into all three color inputs and getting a random shade of gray. So let's add a combined HSV node. Connect the random socket to the H socket, or hue, turn up the saturation and value to 1, and connect to the shader. Now we have a whole assortment of colored objects. This random socket rolls a different value between 0 and 1 for each object. Well, it's not completely random, it seems to be a seed based off the object's name. Which means if you have your materials set up the same as I do, and have your objects named in place the same, your scene should look exactly like mine. Right now we're just assigning any random number to our hue value, but we can be more selective with our colors. And there are just about a million ways to do this. You can perform math on the random value, such as rounding the value to increments to get different results. If you're less of a mathy person and want a more visual way to choose the colors, use a color ramp. And then we no longer need this combined HSV, since color ramps already output color or vector data. Add a bunch of stops by clicking this plus sign, choose their color and place them wherever you want. Using linear falloff allows for a smooth transition between each color, and changing the constant will only use the selected colors without any blending. Changing the stop location will change the percentage of the cubes that are each color. Let's say the random number rolls as 0.6, it'll look for 0.6 on the color ramp and use the color at that location. You may want to use multiple random values on a single object, in that case use a white noise texture. A white noise node takes an input and returns a random seed-based number or vector. Adding a separate RGB or XYZ node allows us to access three random values from the white noise node. Now we can go back to our combined HSV node, but this time we have several random values at our disposal. And not only can we randomize the hue, but the saturation and value as well. And you can color ramp or math any of these values. Say you want different tones of green. You can use random values for any material value, which makes this incredibly powerful. And if you need more than three random values, just chain white noise and separate RGB nodes. Here's a randomized noise texture, mixing our random green color with white. By utilizing randomization, you can achieve some pretty cool results. Here's a scene I made a while back when I was trying to figure out how geometry nodes worked. I'll upload this to our Patreon so you can take a look if you want. All the materials in this scene are procedural, they're pretty involved, but I did a bit of randomizing to make the scene look more interesting. Here's how the random block color is assigned. This color ramp in Object Info node selects a random color we predetermined here, so green is the rarest color. The trees, flowers, and stuff are all randomized as well. But my favorite random materials in this scene are the toad colors. I have two randomized colors on each toad instance the mushroom dots, and the coat color. They're pretty simple, the color is random rolled, and since both materials are on the same object, they'll both roll the same value, so the coat and dots sync up to be the same color always. However, I have this white noise red value being sent through a greater than node here. So if it rolls a number less than 0.2, this first color on the mix node will be used on the shirt material, otherwise it'll use the randomized color. And the mushroom dots are the same, except they're red when the value is below 0.2 which means 20% of my toads will be the standard red dot blue shirt toads, and 80% of them will be randomized. There's really no limit to how creative you can get with this stuff. If you want a more hands-on look at some of these materials, don't forget to check the file out. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed! Quick side note, this is one of my favorite things that I've ever seen my brother make in Blender. It's adorable, and I love seeing how it turns out every single time you generate it. Please subscribe, like the video, and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see us make. If you want to help our channel grow, consider sharing the video. If you want to help support us, consider going to our Patreon. Thank you all again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye!